Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome to a new Minecraft snapshot. The first one actually since 1.5 was released. This one's pretty cool. As you've no doubt noticed, there are a couple of horses in front of me, or actually, if I'm to use proper terminology, one horse and one foal. And most of the stuff that's been added in this snapshot has to do with horses and related equipment and stuff, with the exception of a couple things, so let me first mention those before we spend the rest of the snapshot just talking about some horses. So first off, if you'll notice the orange covering in the pen here, that's actually not a wool block, it's just a wool carpet that extends a pixel above the block below it. The way you make these is simply by laying out a couple of wool next to each other and uh, you'll get some carpet in return. Pretty simple. And over in the center as well, we have some hay bales. They're actually, if you go and find them in your creative menu, they're not called hay bales, they just they're nameless, essentially, and they don't have a crafting recipe yet, and I'm not sure if in the future they will actually be edible, or by, by horses, I mean, um, or if they're just going to be purely aesthetic, but they exist. So, that's that. Alright, let's move on to horses. So, let me spawn one with a spawn egg right here, and uh, when we spawn it using a spawn egg, it just gives us uh, an adult untamed horse. Now, as you'll notice in there, I have a foal, so the mechanic works exactly the same to where if I right-click on him with... Actually, I need to have him tamed first so I can sit on him and then right-click him with, uh, with the spawn egg in order to spawn baby foals. Anyway, we can start off by taming him. So, in order to do that, we simply right-click and we'll ride on him, and then eventually he's gonna kick us off by doing his little, little rearing up in the air thing his prancing action. Um, so as we keep doing this, it should just take a few tries, he'll keep booting us off, and then finally, when we do it right, or when we get lucky I should say, um, we will tame him. So let's just keep trying it, and eventually some hearts should appear, um, similar to uh, taming wolves. And uh, come on buddy, let's be cooperative here, there we go, okay. So now he's tamed. So once he's tame, let's hope he doesn't run off. Uh, we can press left shift to dismount, and now let me go in here and show you the saddle recipe. So this is how you make a horse saddle. It's specific to horses. Pig saddles won't work on them. Um, you just lay out some leather and iron like so, and you'll get a saddle in return. So let me go back. Hopefully he hasn't run off. And uh, right click to throw a saddle on him, and then I can ride him once more. So here we go. Now I can actually show you the... Uh, spawning a baby horse mechanic. So, interestingly enough, the baby horse will actually follow the horse that it was spawned on. So it's gonna keep following me as I ride this one around. Um, if I dismount with left shift, again, it'll just follow around the quote-unquote mother horse. So, yeah, kind of a cool mechanic. Um, I'm not sure if it actually behaves that way if there's a baby horse and an adult horse in the wild, but, you know, that mechanic does exist. Also, in order to grow a foal into a fully adult horse, if it decides to not clip into blocks, um, you can simply right click it with wheat and you'll notice that it sort of gradually, come on, it sort of gradually just starts growing with each click until it finally reaches adulthood. So there we go. That is a fully grown horse right there. Okay, so you may be wondering what the bar is on the bottom there. That's sort of like the jump charge up bar thingamadoohickey. Um, so if we hold it down, you'll notice it sort of charges up that bar down there. What we want to do in order to maximize our jump is it sort of, I mean, I'm sure this mechanic is used in many games, but it reminds me of a golfing simulator game where you want to hold it just between that, uh, that yellow part right there is where you want to release. So if you do that, your horse will jump the highest and you can also do it while you're, you're running and there you go. And, uh, it'll jump over things and stuff and... They run pretty quickly. They will scale uh, one block jumps without having to actually press jump. They'll just go up it. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously if you don't land it in the, uh, the optimal location, it'll just jump a little bit less high. All right, so you may have noticed that the horse in the pen over there has a, a nifty little blue coat of armor. So, in here we have our armor crafting recipes. There's gold, iron, and diamond variations. So, because we already have the blue on the horse over in our pen over here, why don't we give this guy an iron set of armor? So, all you have to do is right click with the armor in hand and uh, it'll equip it 
on the horse. So pretty simple. Let me go and switch into survival mode because then we can actually see the uh, the horse's health bar. So let's see, slash game mode, survival, and now if we hop on the horse, you'll notice over in the bottom right, um, we have a little horse health bar. So if we can find a cliff to jump off of, we can do that and, uh, well, maybe cause the horse to take some damage. Nope, that wasn't high enough. I don't actually see any conveniently placed cliffs around here, so that might be a little bit difficult. But anyway, your horse can take damage. So, <laughs> all right. And finally, if you notice over in the pen over here, our horse is tied to a leash. So he's restricted as far as where he can go. So we don't even necessarily need a pen in order to keep the horse in one place. All we need to do is grab the leash or the lead. The lead is probably, probably more of a proper term. And no crafting recipe yet, as far as I'm aware. Again, the thing is, it's totally nameless, um, just as hay bales are here. Let me hold on. We'll switch back into creative, just so I can grab a uh, hay bale in my inventory easily. So yeah, hay bales are also completely nameless, FYI. Okay, so we can right click on the horse with the lead and it'll start to follow us if we just walk with it. And we can also, should we choose to, right click it onto a fence post and then the horse will stand still. Um, again, we can right click on the lead and it'll simply drop it back for us to be able to use it again. If you get too far away from the horse, Let's see if we can run far enough away to actually break the lead. Nope, I guess the uh, the horse will catch up to us. Um, there we go. So we get far enough away from the horse, the lead will actually break. So anyway, last but not least, battle mechanics. You actually have the ability to use a sword while on the horse, and you can also fire bows and arrows. Or fire arrows using a bow. You can't fire your bow, I don't think. <laughs> not yet. Um, so yeah you can do some pretty cool stuff with the horses. Finally, I almost completely forgot to mention that I'm wearing a respiration helmet right now. There's been a small tweak to the respiration enchantment that just allows you to see better when you go underwater. So right now, I'm wearing it. If I take it off, you'll notice that it goes back to being regular cloudy old water. So just toggle between the two and uh, yeah, makes a pretty significant improvement. So anyway, there's that. And then if I can get out of the, the ice. <laughs> um, one other change is that, and it's hard to actually demonstrate this, but according to the change log, if you stand in one area for an extended period of time, the mobs that spawn in that area will gradually grow more and more difficult. So it sort of encourages you to move around. And uh, yeah. So anyway, just a couple more changes for you. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, thank you very much for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.